Hello there, Kevin Blanche. I'm John Dole. Nice to meet you. Oh, you want to shake my hand? Well, that's, that's um, surprising. Smack my hand away. Hmm. Start screaming at me. Yeah, all caps means you're screaming. Ranting and raving on me. Insulting me. And all that. And then, you take it a step further. After you worked yourself up into a blind rage, which you typically do, uh, you make a racist statement about people here in Japan. You really outdid yourself that time. Okay? Now, if, if you're not Kevin Blanche and you're watching this, uh, I had a little run-in with this man recently. Before we get into that, I want you guys to know a little bit about Kevin. Okay? Now, Kevin, he's this uploader here on, uh, on YouTube and um, kind of a sort of an activist, touts himself as a leader of the anti-nuclear movement in um, America. Right? So that's basically Kevin. Now, Kevin's known to have an anger problem, to put it lightly. And he's a typical reactionary, right? Feel bleh, okay? There's no thinking in between. You know, it's uh, an explode of anger and aggression towards anyone who doesn't agree 100% with him, who doesn't follow him along like he's, you know, the second coming of Jesus Christ, which I'm sure he'd, he'd like to be. And he goes, one of the things he uses to get attention a lot is, of course, that overwhelming mad rage of anger that he pukes out at people, and the fact that he's a cancer survivor. I think he's a cancer survivor. He goes on about it enough, you know. And he was, we were, I am on Facebook there for a very short amount of time. Didn't last long. Trust me, I knew it wouldn't. And he posts things, right? Now, anything that comes up, my, come up in my news feed, excuse me, anything that comes up in my news feed, I consider as fair game. You're putting it out in the public for public comment. That's how that works, Kevin. In the public sphere of debate and discussion, anything you put out is open for criticism. That's how it works, Kevin. That's how debate and discussion works. That's how human beings interact with each other typically. All right. So he, he went to this million mass march thing. I forget which part of America it was in there. And I watched a bit of that video, you know, and I have my opinions about the million mass march and what it really accomplished and things like that so i left a comment there you know on his in that video they put on facebook which came from youtube man he exploded couldn't handle any type of critique or any point that he doesn't like that's reactionaryism okay but that wasn't good enough for him he had to start bullying me. You don't bully me. I'm the last person who will let, will let you get away with bullying. So I decided to move it over to a PM conversation, a private message thing on Facebook there. Because I knew this is going to be ugly. You know, and people don't really want to see that so much and so often and you know it's something that he just exploded being reactionary so I'm going to try to talk to him privately on the net on Facebook there I didn't work out very well either you know, again screaming ranting raving at me insulting me and then you know I said okay ask some questions you know he's being a an asshole right you're not being logical you're not making any sense you're barely coherent 
really, really has got himself worked up in a fit of rage. You know, so I start asking questions, pointing out things, still attempting, you know, to be a civil human being with this guy. You know, as again, that's how debate works, Kevin. You must be civil. You must have some manners. You gotta respect your fellow human beings. All right. So we ask some questions, you know, about supporting Japanese people and that. And that's where the racist comment flew out of his mouth. And let me basically quote this for you. Here's what he said. Fuck them, they did this. I'm not trying to protect them. I don't care about them. I'm over here trying to protect us. That they, he was referring to, was the people of Japan. Do you know where I live, Kevin? I live in Japan. Tokyo, to be exact. So, the overwhelming, overwhelming majority of my friends are native-born, ethnic, Japanese. How do you think I take to that? Huh? I was shocked, number one. Despite you being such a reactionary, and despite the fact that you're such a blowhard, and you have zero manners at all, you're uncivilized, okay? Despite all that, I didn't think you'd take it to that level. But you did. Well, I'm like, okay, what happens now? And he starts bullying me again, screaming and shouting at me. I tell him, don't you scream at me. You know, I said it to him several times. He said, don't you scream at me. You haven't earned that right. And don't you curse at me either. You know, he's being a bully. Punk bully. I destroy bullies. I've, had, I've been doing it for the majority of my life, okay? I'm not a very big person. You know, if people actually, when people actually meet me in person, they're shocked by how my stature, right? They expected this larger-than-life person. When they meet me, you know, like I said, they're, they're quite surprised by my actual physical stature. So I've had to be a fighter just to survive, you know. You know how vicious people can be in the, in the construct of society when you have a capitalist system. You know? It forces people to be vicious, you know. <clears throat> You're going to bully me. No. So yeah, that's the issue there. There's your leader of the Western anti-nuclear movement. Fat, loudmouth, redneck. That's what you're putting your faith in over there? Seriously? Wow. Wow. I'm... It's not often that I'm speechless, you know, but I actually am a bit. There's a lot more I could say about you, Kevin. But I'm going to make it a brief and finish up here because I don't want this video to go on too much longer because there's lots of other things, you know, to deal with and take care of, right? So, you use other, you use other terminology in your videos a lot, right? You use words like patriot, uh, hero, words like that. Now, those type of terminologies are are typically connected to the right wing in America and even more closely connected to libertarians and the Tea Party gang. So Kevin, the terminology you use and the way you speak, your general way of interacting with people, all of that shows me you're of the reactionary right wing, which makes you dangerous. To humanity. Okay? Yeah. I'm a Marxist. Which makes me also a communist. I'm not afraid to say that openly. I use rational thought. A Pacific type to understand the world. It's called dialectical materialism. It removes all ideology. And based something on a philosophy to understand the world. It's a worldview. That's why you don't see me 
exploding in anger, being reactionary all the time. Because I know that before you do anything, you have to stop, think, analyze, and understand the material conditions going on and all the different people involved and how those people interact with each other and understand their agendas and what they are looking to get out of any situation and then you get a much clearer picture of what's going on now Kevin won't do that you won't bother with it he's gonna be loud and crazy until the day he dies so there you go there's, our, there's my response to Kevin Blanche. Let's move on to other things. But have fun with this video. Okay? So until next time, John Doe in Tokyo. Check it out.